Hi guys, welcome to Real Girl Thrift. My name is Angie and I resell clothing online to make an income. So if you enjoy reselling related content and you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's free, I would love to have you. Um, I give a lot of tips on what sells for me, what works for me, and you can kind of follow my reselling journey and then hopefully comment down below about your thoughts and what's going on with your journey. Okay, so today's video is actually going to be a thrift haul. This is from a small thrift store close by my house. So the little scenario with this thrift store is it's run by volunteers, which a lot of thrift stores are, but it's only open three days a week for a couple hours each day. So when I go there, I always go and I sit outside maybe for 15 minutes before it opens um, because it's a really small store. Um, they don't have like a whole lot of inventory, um, but they do periodically have some little gems and treasures in there. And so um, I do like to check it out periodically. So it does kind of get my nerves going though because it is a small space. People do generally come before the store opens and you're all kind of huddled in there looking through items. Um, also, I don't know if they found out if I was a reseller, if they would think that's great or not. I don't know. You just don't ever know. So then I'm kind of trying to like hide behind things as I'm checking comps because I don't want to be like obvious that I'm a reseller. Anyways, let me know if you go through some of that stuff yourself. But anyways, I did find some good things the other day when I went in there. Um, I was so happy with what I found. So I just want to go ahead and show you what I got. I'm going to also tell you how much I paid for it. Um, let's start out. So this place does have men's items as well as women's. But this is Vineyard Vines. This is a size large. This is a slim fit whale shirt. It's 100% cotton. This is in good condition. This is um, like a blue, pink, and white pattern. There's the little whale. It's a button-down shirt in good condition. Um, so I paid... What did I pay for this? I paid just $2 for it. So that's not actually that bad. Okay, moving on, we have Good American. This is a size 10, 30. These are the Good Legs jeans. So they have some nice stretch to them and they're in great condition. They're kind of like in between a skinny and a straight leg, um, but these would go great with boots or just even little loafers, really any kind of shoe. So I was happy to find these. Okay, so these were priced at, did I cut the price off these already? I think they were probably like $2. So that just kind of gives you an idea. They do have great prices if you find some good things in there. Okay, next up, this is Seven for All Mankind. And these are actually their dojo jeans. So if you see dojo, and Seven for All Mankind, you'll probably want to pick them up. They don't sell for as much as they used to or quite as fast, but they still are something that you'll want to grab. These are a size 28, and these are more of like a darker wash. And so the dojo is going to be more of a wider leg, which is really flattering. And these are in really great condition. Sometimes there'll be a lot of wear to these but these are actually in great condition. So I was happy to pick those up. I mean, they have a few scuffs on the bottom there, but that's not too big of a problem. I was actually debating keeping them for myself. I'm trying to find some good jeans right now, um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and list them. So I don't know a lot about men's blazers and sports jackets, but I will at this thrift store look through them because um, there is like an older community. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, so some of the things can be vintage in there and some of them have been kept really nice. So the things that are donated is what I mean. 
So let me just show you what I picked up in the sports jackets. So this is, a, um, I grabbed this because it says 100% cashmere and it's this gray blazer sports jacket. Obviously, I don't know all the obvious lingo, but it's got shoulder pads, super soft. And let me show you the brand on this. Um, this is, I still have to like really look it up. Um, I'm not even, I'm going to butcher the name, Fioravante Couture, 100% cashmere. And let me see if I can find something that is confusing to me on men's sports jackets is that it's hard to find a size. Um, this pocket says professionally dry clean, low moisture, made in USA. Okay, that's really weird. I can't find a size anywhere. That makes no sense to me. I will do some more hunting. I will post it if I find out what it is. Also, if you want to check out what I price things at, my Poshmark closet is way too cute, 33. Um, and if you want me to get something up sooner, just comment down below and I'll do that. Okay, we have another sports coat. This is like a really nice green, light green shade and shoulder pads. The fabric feels nice and soft. It's in excellent condition. This is also made in the USA and I will show you the brand on this. This is Tom James for David Williams. <laughs> that might be the person that it was made for. I don't know. Um, this one does, this is union made. So this is, I'm guessing vintage. This was, uh, I think custom made maybe, um, in 1994. I can't find a size in that one either. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do some more research. Okay. An exciting, exciting find. I've only found this trench coat one other time in my years of thrifting. And it is a vintage Burberry. So it's Burberries with an S. That's how you know it's vintage um, because now they don't have the S on it anymore. But anyways, this was, they just had one little small rack of jackets and this was near the end of it. I was so excited to find it. It was only listed for $10. So I of course grabbed it. It does have one flaw. It does have um, some marker. I think somebody put their name on there and then they marked it out. But this is their trench jacket. I'm thinking this is men's, but I do need to do some research still. Um, so we've got the button front. It's not double breasted, but it's the trench jacket and it's in good condition. I don't see any flaws on the outside of it, which is nice. And then it does have a removable, I think this is wool um, on the inside, which you can tell there's a little zipper if you wanna move, remove the lining on this, but this will keep you extra warm. I did notice that whoever owned this before must not have used the lining as much because underneath here is the um, actual lining of the jacket. It does have a little bit more wear. It has a little bit of peeling on it. So I think whoever owned this before um, didn't wear the extra lining as much, but I'm thankful that it came with the extra lining because that will obviously increase the value. Um, and some Burberry jackets have the two button closure, but this one just has the one button closure down the front. So I still need to do some research on it to figure out the exact style name on it. Um, I still need to find the size on it as well. So that'll be interesting. Um, if you have any information on that jacket, please let me know in the comments. That would be really helpful. Okay, moving on. I don't always look at scarves, but since it's such a small little thrift store, and the prices are so good, I went ahead and looked through their scarves. They're only a dollar a piece, but I got this one. This is a pretty navy blue scarf with a little alpaca 
on it and it says alpaca camera cameras um here's the little guy on there cute and this is made of 100 percent alpaca alpaca camargo um Oh, I'm sorry. It's only 30% alpaca, 70% acrylico. Anyways, a dollar. You can't beat that. I don't know how much it'll resell for. Probably not a whole lot, but went ahead and grabbed it. This scarf is actually new with tabs. This really pretty plaid pattern. So I wanted to grab that. Um, this brand is called Royal... Spy side, it's made in Scotland, and this is 100% cashmere. So, yes, 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 I'm gonna pick that baby up. All right, yeah, um, please don't unsubscribe when I get annoying, it happens periodically. But this is really nice colors and pattern, very cute. New with tags will keep somebody extra warm. Okay, moving on. I did pick up a couple dresses that I need to actually get photographed today. Um, it's my husband's Christmas party at work tonight, so I'm hoping that I have enough time to get a few more things done here. But I'm hoping I can get these dresses up because it would be nice if somebody got them before, um, obviously, Christmas or New Year's. But so the brand, this one was new with tags. This one was $8, and this is, I'm never going to say it right, Nor by Lazaro, and this is crafted in the USA. This is a pretty lace dress, so it's sleeveless, and then it's got a beautiful skirt as well, and then it just has a little bit of an open back and buttons up at the neck. It's lined, very cute. Um, this would be adorable to wear for a Christmas party or even for New Year's. And then it's got a little built-in little slip for your girls. And it's lined, has a zip down the back. This is a size 12. So yes, I believe this is vintage. Um, so I do need to do a little bit of more research on it. Just thought it was pretty. I'm gonna try to picture it today, get pictures up. Moving on to the next dress I picked up. This is called Alex Evenings. This is a size 12 and this was $4. It's made of rayon and nylon and polyester lining. So this is a one shoulder. This is um, has some lace detail as well, really pretty. Um, this one's longer. This was just like very holiday vibes, I thought. And it has a little zipper on the side to get in and out of it, but really pretty. So yeah, and it's in great condition. So I'm curious to see how that does. Okay, moving on. I personally don't like selling shoes because I do not like touching shoes, <laughs> um, but if I feel like, hey, this is a cheap enough cost and this could make me a few bucks and I've got some time to list some things, I will grab the shoes. So I did grab two pairs of shoes. So first, this I grabbed because they're leather. The brand is called Mephisto. These are the Goodyear Welt. These are genuine leather. It's a US size 10 and a half men's shoe. So these are in good condition. Um, I have never seen this brand before. So they, um, they put, they mark by letters, like what they're gonna price it at. So these were probably like $6, but they're in excellent condition. I'm feeling like I at least could get like 35 for these. Um, I may even be able to get more, but yeah, these are in great condition. So I'm gonna list these. 
on Poshmark and eBay. Um, so I'm interested to see how those will do. So this other pair was pretty exciting. Um, I've had this brand on my mind when I've been in the boots and I haven't found it yet this year. So I was happy to find it. But Fry is the brand. And these are some black, um, like up to the knee boots, leather boots, boots, boots by Fry. And they're in fairly good condition. There's the little logo. They do have some scratches at the toes. Um, I don't do a lot of shoe repair. Actually, I'm gonna say I don't do any <laughs> shoe repair. So um, I'm not going to do much with these. I kind of like to sell as is because I don't honestly like dealing with shoes. Um, but these, um, let me see the size on them in case you're interested. They've got a little opening on the back here. Um, these are a size 11B. So the size is right in here. There you go. Made in Mexico. The lining looks fairly good still. So yeah, there's those. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul. Please comment your thoughts down below. I hope you are having a great Christmas season and I will see you next time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.